Hey everyone, um, thanks for tuning in. I picked up two philodendron silver swords. So I'm gonna put both of these four inch pot guys into a larger pot. And yeah, let's go. Okay, <clears throat> little scoop. So am I, I'm gonna put these into a four inch pot. I had lined the bottom, uh, about bottom inch. Um, of my soil mix. I'll give you a close-up right now if you want to see it. It's very chunky. Um, it's full of a bunch of organic matter. I do have a video um, about um, my potty mix that I make. Um, take a peek at it. Um, yeah, so getting these from the plant store, they're really wet. The soil is really soggy. It's not actually very good. See, it's very wet. You could probably actually squeeze some water out of this. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, you definitely don't want your plant that wet. That's for sure. So I'm gonna break up a lot of this wet dirt into this extra pot. If I were to leave these plants the way they are, this wet, um, in my jungle room, they may survive, but I would think that you get some root rot and probably loss of a few of the older leaves. So I'm just gonna gently remove most of the dirt. So I wanna get into a different potting soil that's more chunky, better drainage, more organic matter. And I also notice a lot of plant stores um, around here some of the nurseries that the plants come from um, don't really tend to take care of a lot of the plants and they usually come to retail um, with pests. Um, I found a lot of thrips, uh, spider mites and gnats and whatnot in them. So I just want to get rid of most of the soil as I possibly can into a better mix. See again, this one is like really wet. See a lot of moisture. So another reason why I want to generally um, separate the root ball and get all the roots like this, so that the roots can actually um, develop and grow in the whole pot and not just in their little root ball that they're known to from the smaller pot. This way, when you're watering, you're not constantly just watering the same spot, um, potentially causing root rot. You're actually going to actually eventually uh, water like the whole crown because there'll be roots everywhere. Because whenever you keep watering the same spot, you'll have roots that just keep growing in the same spot. Um, you can also cause root rot. And eventually you could actually, especially with trees, um, the roots can actually just eventually choke the trunk and your plant will die. Okay, so I got these roots apart. Get rid of this yunky soil. Um, we buy a lot of different products from the grocery store that come in plastic containers. Um, instead of throwing them out or putting them in the recycling, that'll probably end up just ending up in the landfill. I actually save them. So a lot of the saucers at the bottom of my plant pots are um, little containers that I got from Walmart um, and other salad containers and whatnot. I save literally every one of them. Even some of my watering containers are um, older four liter milk jugs. I do the best I can to uh, thread them to go into the landfill. So now I'm going to get some soil in there. I'm gonna rest it in there. So right now you can see that is too low. The plant is sitting too much in the pot. I'm going to get my, I might as well use my hand. Get some more stuff in there. Okay, and eventually when these guys do get bigger, I'll um, put them in a bigger pot together and I will actually add in a moss pole or a trellis because these guys, like um, most philodendrons, are actually vines or climbers. And introducing a moss pole or some kind of uh, host they can climb um, will eventually 
um, it'll help the plant in developing bigger leaves. Um, yeah. So this looks kind of good. Let's see. Even a six inch pot come springtime um, will probably be too small by then. So we'll do an upgrade then. Now I got them in, I'm going to get some soil in there. I'm only gonna firm it a bit with my fingers. I don't wanna press too, too hard um, on them because I don't wanna squish out all the oxygen in the soil. Because we know plants breathe oxygen and they need their roots to do that. So by squishing it completely hard, um, we'll squish out all the little air pockets. I don't want that. And once I'm done, I will water with my day old water that's been sitting out in the jungle room. And I'll probably add some Super Thrive. It's a kelp based natural vitamin mineral water soluble Make sure you just add a couple drops to your watering can. Sometimes I also use that stuff as a foiler spray. I'll just put it in my spray bottle and I'll just spray all the leaves on some of my plants. I think we're almost there. And there we have it. Nice philodendron silver sword. And do remember when you guys are out there plant shopping, um, do a little bit of research uh, about the plant you're about to buy. Uh, figure out where it comes from, um, it's watering, schedule or requirements and uh, it's humidity and all that good stuff and yeah if you guys have any questions um leave them down below in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and uh like the video and thanks for watching bye